Welcome back, everyone. I am the talent. It's time to play Minecraft. So I just put together a few more of the details here. We are at the Okia Draugen offshore platform. I'm on the little uh, corner out here where I have my bed, safely away from my um, little shulker box monster over there, because, yeah, there's some dark areas up there that I haven't quite lit up yet, and I've had a few... I've had a few zombies pop down on me. I think it's a bit too far for a creeper to fall, but uh, zombies and skellies with some armor can take that fall damage. And yeah, going through those shulker boxes and having a fully suited up zombie drop right in your face is not, not a great way to start the morning. So I'm going to have to take care of that. But we've got some other plans right now. So I just, in those uh, re replay clips, I added some more of the details here to the office space that is attached to the side. This is the, the uh, front wall, or the, the back wall, I guess, of the housing units. This is where um, all the living quarters are, and the workspace for, mm, there's an enderman right there. The workspace for, for all of the workers here on the platform. Now, what we're gonna do next, because we're gonna work our way up to the top of the top side here, uh, the platform that's going to have the helipad and a whole bunch of other other things that you have on top of an offshore oil platform. Not not quite sure. These guys still haven't despawned. They're just running around, very confused, looking for some place to go. Okay, but what we're going to work on right now uh, are these sides over here that I haven't filled in, looking quite empty. We're going to put together the um, the exterior on this wall and the front wall over uh, in that direction so that we can uh, start putting up the supports for the, the main top side where we'll have our helipad and the other platforms. Um, there's also going to be a stairway right here on this level and uh, some, some more supports, uh, some more ways of getting up and down this platform. All right, so let's get right into it. We're going to we're going to start working on that right now. Well, now the profile of the platform is really coming together. We've reached a very important milestone now. So we've got the trusses uh, on the back of the platform. These support all of the life rafts, all of the escape rafts uh, in case of emergency. We've got our crane up top, but most importantly, most importantly, I've been waiting a long time for this. It'll take us a few rockets to get up here. But we've got our helipad. Now this base has a proper entrance. And of course I went for a T for talent. Hey, I've got to do something cheesy once in a while, right? I can do that. So yes, we have the helipad in. Currently, 
The our only access to the uh, dragon is from our supply ship down there. But eventually, I'll get another nether portal up here, uh, so that it'll be easier to reach. But we're also ha suffering from another serious problem. <laughs> what? There's snow everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. It's a disaster, like all of the details. <laughs> Every surface up here is absolutely covered in snow and the whole thing, eventually, the whole thing will just be covered in, in snow. I did not factor this in. I designed this uh, in, in creative in a flat world with the weather turned off. So I didn't quite realize that we are, we, we're at Y152. So anytime it rains, snow is just going to accumulate all over the surface here. Now, I didn't notice it down there because that's still pretty close to sea level, but any of the platforms up here are just gonna get covered by snow and we still have more platforms to put up here. All right, so we have two possible solutions to this. One is we could cover everything with string or carpets. Anything that's a full block, a, a full uh, top surface where snow could accumulate, if you put some string on it or a carpet or a slab or, or anything uh, that'll prevent snow from building up. That's one way. The other way is we could go up to world height and put a layer of glass up there and that would prevent any rain or, or snow from even falling in. I considered that, but here's the problem. That works really well when you have a small build or there's a lot of terrain around, but in this case, we would need a 7,000 block platform of glass directly overhead. It's just going to look ugly. I mean, there's no possible way to get a good view of, of this uh, platform without showing the sky. And to have a glass platform, even glass, I mean, if, if it's a small, if it's small enough, you don't really notice, but when you've got 7,000 blocks of glass up there, yeah, it's too noticeable. So I went to the mob farm. I picked up a little string. We're going to need a lot more than this, but I think the solution is I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to put, uh, painfully, um, put string all up and down this platform. Um, it actually works well for here. This is the, the, the place that I'm really worried about, the helipad, because this is concrete powder. So if snow falls on this, it's going to be incredibly difficult to shovel it off without also removing all of the concrete powder. So I think the solution for the platform is going to be to cover all of this with string. And I know it kind of doesn't look that great. You don't really notice it too well. You just have to be careful, you know, um, one single misclick and you've ruined it. But also on the real platform, on the real, the real platform has this netting over it. And I was trying to come up with something that would actually make uh, a good approximation of that. Oh, wow. We've got mobs all up and down this place. <laughs> Um, yeah, once I put the helipad on, this the under underside here got very dark. Uh, that's why I'm also keeping the sword in my inventory because, um, yeah, mobs are everywhere. I haven't figured out a good solution to mob proofing, but right now I'm working on the snow. Okay, so back to the helipad. The, uh, yeah, the helipad has a, a, a bunch of netting over the top of it, and I guess that's you know, to prevent the helicopters from sliding around all the time. I mean, there's heavy winds up here. We're really high in the sky. So the, it has this net on it. And I think adding string to it will will actually uh, look a lot like that net. Um, but of course, the real reason is not for aesthetics, but yeah, just to keep the snow from building up, we're going to have to do this. There's There's really no alternative. Uh, well, the alternative, the alternative is we have this mess. Uh, this is impossible. This, this has to go. Okay. So now we've got the helipad. We've got our crane here. What's next? We've got four big 
projects uh, left to to get done here. We've really turned a corner. Getting this um, getting this helipad in has really uh, jump started my momentum. I feel like we're within striking distance of getting this finally done. So what we've got left. Um, from up here. So again, there are going to be more platforms extending off uh, to, to cover the, the middle of the platform here. There's going to be all kinds of work areas and loading and unloading, some equipment and some storage, a lot of activity up here. Uh, then also, we have to put in a second crane on this side. There are, there are two cranes. We've got one on either side. So we'll need another crane. And yeah, that is, that is tricky. I got to say, I love this crane design. Um, you know, it's it's kind of light on the detail here because it's mainly meant to be viewed from a distance. Um, and from a distance, I think it nails the crane look. I really love the putting in the rails up and down at an angle here. It really adds to this sort of uh, structural, the, the trusses that would go in between to, uh, to support the main crane structure. So I really love this design, but it's so painful to put this together. Very tricky block placement. It takes a long time. And of course, we're suspended above the ground. Um, yeah, very, very tricky to get in there. So I'm not looking forward to the other crane, but once we get it, it's gonna look great. Then, so we have the other platforms. We've got the other crane. There are some more details that we wanna put on this side of the platform. There are these giant exhaust vents that are used for processing natural gas that just look immense and really add so much to this platform. So I want to get that in. And then finally, off into the distance here where the sun is setting, we have the flare boom. It starts here and goes up at an angle way up into the sky. And that is really the most recognizable part of an oil platform. Just this giant boom and it is called a boom, a flare boom, because it's a it carries a pipe all the way up to the sky where the natural gas can be flared away. Let's get to sleep so that we don't have any more mob spawning. Oh, I love this help. I I really like the the uh, the structure that I put together here. Not um, not easy to get something that looks good, but I I think this looks like a really really nice way of supporting this platform. Uh, the helipad, which, you know, it has to be suspended up here away from anything else. So, you know, the helicopters have a nice safe place to land. So here's what I'm going to work on. We got the string. We got the string. I got to take care of all the snow. That's just, it's just ruining all of my details on, on the roof structures here. All of these HVAC units and storage and, and other gadgets and, and uh, industrial things. <laughs> The snow just really ruins it for me. So yeah, we got the string, we got the crane, and then we've got uh, some more details here on the side and then the giant flare boom. And then our platform will be ready, ready to move in. It'll be a functional base. All right, let's get back to work. I will catch you on the flip side.
Well, the string is doing a pretty good job of keeping the snow where I don't want it. But it's not doing any good for the mobs. I think to fully mob proof this place will take an extremely long time and not really be worth it. But right now, I think the most critical part is uh, this area here where I'm going to be working a lot. So, especially here in these window areas that I haven't filled in, mobs are spawning in there all the time. And I think I need to fill those in uh, before it just gets a little too dangerous around here. So I got some glass with me. I'm trying to put in some sea lanterns uh, in certain spots and I hear a zombie somewhere. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of zombies over there. Uh, that that area is quite dangerous, but let's get uh, let's get some glass panes going on here and see if we can at least take care of some of these areas. Whoa, zombie! Okay, let's get some glass up here to prevent this area from being too dangerous. I think this will help out a little bit. I, I don't really have a great plan for what I want to do with these windows. Uh, so in the meantime, I think just adding some glass panes in here should work quite well. So let's get this done. And it's just about dark as well. Still some residual snow layers around. All right, let's get to sleep. And finish off some of this before we turn our attention back. Oh, I got the front, I got the front wall in. There's not much left. Not much left. <laughs> not much left except the mobs everywhere. So after I get the windows in on the housing unit area, it'll be time for the the last piece, which will be the flare boom. Starting right down here, this is sort of the uh, connection point uh, where it hooks into the main platform. And this is gonna be the tallest structure on the entire platform. It starts here and goes way up into the sky. Let's get started on that. Last episode, when I built the crane, I made a little joke, or kind of a bit of a challenge. I was saying, you know, I was feeling pretty confident. Hey, the rain right on cue. Yep. As soon as I do an intro, yeah, it starts raining. Anyway, um, yeah, I was I was feeling confident, you know, and I said, well, hey, here's a challenge. Is there anything that you could design in creative but not actually build it in survival? It would be too hard to build in survival. Not, like, not talking about using impossible blocks, but just placement of the blocks. And I felt like, well, no, anything you design in creative, as long as you can get the blocks, yeah, no problem, I can build it. Yeah. Except this guy has been a real challenge. This, of course, is the flare boom. Let's get a nice view in free cam of what we're looking at here. This has been <laughs> this has been a real challenge. And I know I've made a whole bunch of mistakes. There's one right there. Um, okay, so what's going on here? So the yellow pipe that's going in through the center there, 
That is going to carry uh, excess natural gas away from the platform. And way up at the top there, we're gonna have another platform where it gets uh, safely vented away. Right, so trying to design this structure here. So we've got walls, we've got iron trapdoors to try to give this uh, the look of metal scaffolding and trusses that are holding this together. Whoops. Yeah. Also, I have been completely relying on sneak toggle. There is no other way that I could have built this. And it wasn't so much that I was falling off. I mean, I did fall off quite a bit at the beginning, but once I got the hang of it, it wasn't so much the problem of falling off, but but placing some of these, especially on uh, this side and this side, um, and you'll see the reason why we have this weird placement. Actually, these are these are correct. This is the correct placement because the the last piece to put in here, right? I mean, now it 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 looks okay, but it's kind of bland. It's just this uh, just these four lines that go up around the center. We need to add more stability to this thing. And what we're gonna do is add some rings uh, that go through it. So again, look like metal supports. Um, and then also we're gonna use rails. We're gonna use rails sort of like the, the same kind of way we've done here on the cranes uh, diagonally. And from a distance, that's gonna look a lot like we've got these supports that are going, uh, that are connecting the outer structures together Okay, so yeah, the block placement here has been a serious challenge, but this is the last thing I, I do not want to skip it because even though it looks impressive as is, it's just still missing that detail, that extra detail of those supports. Um, so <laughs> there we go. That's what we're gonna be. Uh, that's what we're gonna wrap up right now. If we can get this done, then our platform will be ready to move in. All right, let's stand here and get wet. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll also, um, you may have noticed in, in the time lapse, I don't know, uh, I'm, I might cut it out, but I have to wait until sunrise before I start one of these pillars because I don't want to get stuck way up there and all of a sudden it's nighttime. And I'm sure there's lots of spawnable spots up there. <laughs> so, yeah, last thing I need is a creeper to drop on my head and blow up half of my work. All right, so we're going to wait for the sun to go down. We can even see the sun <laughs> and the rain to stop. And then we'll finally get those supports on our flare boom. And we'll be, oh, we'll be all done. Can't wait to light this thing up. Catch you on the flip side. Yeet. Yeah, we had a little accident uh, with a creeper. Of course, I, I, I knew that was bound to happen. <laughs> I, um, I was in free cam and all of a sudden, blammo, and then I found myself falling. <laughs> free cam disconnects as soon as you take damage. Um, <laughs> and if a creeper blows up the platform you're standing on, you suddenly find yourself in free fall. It was very confusing. Uh, in any case, full netherite armor protection four. <laughs> Gotta love it. Okay, um, I'm super tired. I mean, wow. We, we got this done. Dude, we got this done. The only thing left is to light it up. And we've got a campfire and we also have a flint and steel. 
we're gonna light up our flare boom right now and I thought uh, let's let's go ahead and, and 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 actually walk up this thing just to get an idea uh, so yeah from here you can really see um, the rails add so much they add so much detail it's like um, like metal girders that are that are supporting the outer um, the outer st structure yeah I really I love I love th this I don't know where I saw this but uh, I'm clearly not the first person to have come up with it but yes rails are not entities which means they render from from a long distance just like any other block but it's really the only way that you can get a diagonal line in Minecraft and that really adds so much when when you've got um, something like this is going up at a 45 degree angle actually not quite a 45 degree angle it's going up it's a, up to and over one but uh, it just looks too rigid and and it's missing something without adding in the these rings of, of stone brick walls and then also this assortment of of rails that's going across diagonally I really love how that came out Wow and we are yeah we're really high up this is gonna be so much fun this is it this is just like at Miranda putting the final spire on top of the clock tower uh, and now here we are at the absolute top of the Draugen platform Wow what an amazing I mean yeah <laughs> and so glad that I put uh, decided to go with the string otherwise this would all be covered co completely covered in snow I left a few spots not just because I'm lazy but to you know add some snow I mean for the most part it would get shoveled off in real life right but you know not everywhere okay anyway enough with that that we're um, we're at the top here and <laughs> Actually, yeah, we're at the top. Um, there's an easy way to get down, but actually there's no way to get up there. Um, well, um, I guess we could uh, we could remove our... Um, yeah, we can just remove that and replace it. No other way to get back up here. But then again, <laughs> people don't come up here. <laughs> no, because it's on fire right this is this is a dangerous dangerous place up here and uh so I, I put the campfire to get the smoke effects but really really the the real effect comes from lighting lighting this nether rack on fire oh yeah take a look at that from a distance wow yeah you can see why they build this really far away from the platform you do not want that burning <laughs> anywhere near anything else that would be flammable and yes I know it's super bad for the environment but this is actually not that bad I realized that by burning it it probably doesn't sound that good but uh, yeah it's it's for safety I think I'll leave it there. I don't really know much about it. And I did go into, you know, the environmental impact. I still think uh, the Draugen is um, is a very safe and as sustainable uh, uh, company and, and, and platform um, that, that you can be in this business. They do a good job. They do a good job. Speaking of doing a good job, I feel like I did a good job with the Draugen. Uh, it's getting a bit late and I'm almost on fire so I'm gonna head back to our supply ship and have a snooze and then in the morning I will give you all a proper tour of our completed and fully operational platform Nice lighting effects for I, did, I didn't realize that but I got sea lanterns under there that's providing a really nice light 
There's mobs spawning all over this build, though. Wow. It really looks great at night, too. <laughs> I can't believe it's done. I can't believe it. And it works perfectly. It works perfectly. That's awesome. All right, good night, everyone. Sunrise at the Draugen. All right, everyone, we are at our supply ship. It's time for a tour. I want to start with the view from down here because this is where we started. Uh, we started, we, we built our little supply ship and we got everything all set up. We had all our materials out here and this is where we started. Uh, <laughs> quite an amazing amount of progress, as you can tell. And I'm, I'm really amazingly overjoyed with the result. I honestly didn't know if I could pull this off in survival and we did it. We did it, and I think the result is amazing and awesome and everything that I wanted it to be. Let's free cam it for a little bit so we can get a nice big good view here. Oh, I, you know, I still love this supply ship too. Take a look at this. This is great. This is a nice little contrast. Look at where we started. Our little mini build and then our mega build. Oh, yeah. It, this, again, was so much fun to put together. Um, there's still more to do, right? I, ha I still have more ideas for, for details in some of these uh, empty spots here. There's a lot more to come here, but <laughs> we, need, we need to just take it in for a little bit. Take it in. Now that we've got our flare boom, check that out. It really, it really, well, it makes this look like an offshore platform uh, for one thing. Uh, without that little detail, it uh, it's just kind of this uh, random cyberpunk thing floating in the ocean. <laughs> but with the flare boom, yeah, you can tell this is an, uh, an oil platform. Zoom in a little bit to get some of the view uh, of the details here. I don't know if I uh, properly explained what these yellow concrete trusses are for. They actually are meant to support life rafts. Um, uh, because of the angle, it's extremely difficult in Minecraft, uh, the angle and the dimensions to, to get, um, you know, a boat <laughs> that would fit in that spot. Uh, so yeah, all the life rafts have, have been deployed, I, I think, um, yeah. So no life rafts just yet until I can get a, a better design on that. And you can see also the three exhaust vents. This is a great view. Um, that adds a lot to the profile. Um, you can't quite see them down here, but as you get higher, and when we get up to the, to the uh, helipad, you'll be able to see them in a little bit better detail. Also, really glad I put both of the cranes in, even though they were a super pain. Again, adds a lot of detail and um, as well as accuracy. I mean, the real platform has two cranes. They're a pain to build, but mm, the real platform has two, two cranes. So that's what we had to do. All right, let's get up there. Let's get up. Let's fly on up. I've got so much junk in my inventory. I really probably, probably should have cleaned it out, but we didn't. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. I wanna fly up to my platform. Yes. Oh, it's so much fun. But we gotta land on the helipad. You get a nice view of the top side here. Our little netting, <laughs> AKA uh, string to keep the uh, snow off. And from up here now with the flare boom on, wow, that is an amazing sight. I love that. That is that is awesome. Another super pain to build. Up, oh, we need a little more string here. Another super painful thing to build, but it works so well. And I actually kind of like the string. It adds like this subtle grid pattern when you're really close to it. 
I kind of like it actually. And of course, remember what this place looked like without the string. It was completely covered in snow. There are our three exhaust vents. Uh, <laughs> starting with glowstone here because these are kind of like on fire. There's like natural gas that's being um, processed or, or something. I don't know. But... <laughs> <laughs> and also that's where all those all my uh, crimson wood went all those trap doors super amazing oh, i just loved it i i loved it pop down here also more plans for this platform here we're gonna have um like some trucks and some you know hoists and i don't know um what do you call those things uh that that are like not wheelbarrows, but they're like um, forklifts. Forklifts, yes. Some forklifts that, that'll be uh, moving around. You know, we got these these um, storage uh, cranes or crates or containers. or Actually, I think they're like engine parts. Uh, I don't know. Some drilling equipment. <laughs> there, we've got a couple more uh, hanging off the side just under the uh, note block tower, I guess. But yeah, more 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 activity is, is going to be um, up here once we figure that out. What else did I... Oh yeah, so over here, you see with our deep slate walls, this, um, this sort of grid, this alternating uh, diagonal grid of, of, of support structures, I actually intend to carry that out throughout the interior, which, as you can see, <laughs> is incomplete. But so much potential here. Again, we've got 7,000 blocks of floor space to work with. It's amazing. I, I, I could probably put an elytra course in here. It's it's amazing. I, I love it. But these these supports, I will eventually include them on the interior as well. So that way, from a distance, you'll be able to see, you know, we've got these gaps. We've got these gaps in the walls a little bit. And right now, all you can see is like, you know, the torches on the floor but eventually when we have these supports in here it will add a little bit more of like the sense that hey there's something like there's like a lot of equipment and and machinery um, and all kinds of um, activity going on inside the platform right so yeah the idea of these wall panels is just to add this facade of of busyness right um, just to distract your eyes and then on the inside we will have all this all these like support structures that that make it look like yeah there's there's actually a lot happening behind the scenes here back up to the helipad again oh are we gonna make that we're not gonna make it <laughs> but actually a good time to look at the underside whoa no it's not a good time to look at the underside oh boy we got an angry zombie and a creeper that is going to, going to ruin my day. Coming in for a landing here on our helipad. All right. Now, I know I said that people don't go up here, and it's for good reason, but I want to get a view. I want to get a, a view from the flaming tower. If I can stick the landing. Got so much space here, I'm just a little afraid of burning my toes. Woo! It is hot up here. So there we go, there is our view. Yeah. There's our view of the platform way down here. It looks tiny. Well, I'll tell you what looks tiny. Our supply ship looks tiny. Oh, wow. Wow. I still, you know, in a way, can't believe that we got this done. Pretty amazing. Well, I gotta thank all of you for coming along with me on this ride. This was an adventure, I gotta say. Um, so let's, let's see. So far this summer, what I've put together is Rusty, the Rusted Tower. Please check out that episode. That was so much fun. And that was our warm-up build because after that, we had Miranda, the Chateau de Noisy, uh, in our Cherry Grove biome. And that was the biggest build I've ever done in Minecraft, bar none, except for this one. <laughs> that crown now belongs to the Okia Draugen, the offshore oil platform in the Norwegian Sea, in the Arctic Circle, um, it, which 
yeah, the deep frozen ocean here is our is our Norwegian Sea, I guess. Ah, uh, but this platform, a challenge in so many ways, especially especially this, the flare boom. Take a look at that. Let's let's free cam that because yeah, just to get another shot of this incredible structure. Really pleased with how it came out. You know, it's not perfect, but it's it's not meant to be looked at up close, really. It's meant to show the profile, and it's meant to to um, to give you this idea of of these metal supports and and trusses that are that are connecting all four corners, supporting this pipe that's uh, carrying the gas up to be vented away. All right, as the sun begins to set, I really want to I really want to check out a couple of night views. So let's head back down to the ship. There we go. I can definitely do more with lighting. I really like this effect here. You know, we've got some sea lanterns in uh, recessed in the walls. I can definitely do more with lighting, especially on the the base. There's more. There's more work to do here. All right, we'd better get back over here, where it's reasonably safe. Ah, oh, that is a pretty view, I've got to say. Quite amazing. And, yep, yeah, our mob farm. You can see the eyes of the spiders over there. <laughs> ah, I can't get a good... I can't get a... There we go! I kind of get a, an angle there. My head kind of blocks the platform, but this, this is kind of the only way that we can sign off from the Draugen and, and try to get a shot of the whole thing in the background. It doesn't doesn't quite fit. But thanks everyone for, for joining me. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned because in our next series, we're going to say goodbye to our end game conveniences and luxuries, and we're gonna start fresh. We're sending ourselves into exile. Well, folks, thanks for watching. We'll leave with a uh, nice shot in free cam of our supply ship with the platform in the background. Peace out, everyone. I'll catch you on the flip side.